Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the ever-changing world of science and technology, every trouble from the giants can cause a big shock. Recently, the news that NVIDIA was investigated for suspected violation of antitrust laws was like a pebble thrown into a calm lake, causing ripples. This turmoil not only plunged NVIDIA itself into a vortex of public opinion, but also caused the industry to pay more attention to the process of domestic substitution. So, how is domestic substitution progressing? Can China completely get rid of its dependence on imported chips? Which Chinese companies will stand out in this change and become new chip trendmakers? Looking back a few years ago, domestic chips were still like toddlers in the GPU field. Compared with international giants, both technical strength and market share seemed so small. But now, with the country's emphasis on an investment in the chip industry and the continuous efforts of the companies themselves, domestic chips have made significant progress. A series of resounding names such as SMIC, Huawei, and Cambrian are now able to compete with international giants in the GPU field. They are like a group of diligent students who are not only learning from advanced international experience, but also constantly innovating to develop products with better performance and lower power consumption. These products not only achieve breakthroughs in specific fields, but also win recognition from customers in the market. Of course, the progress of domestic chips is not only reflected in products. In terms of technology accumulation, ecosystem, talent training, etc., domestic chips are also constantly improving. It's like building a high-rise building. Only when the foundation is solid can the floors be built higher and higher. The support of national policies and capital investment are like providing a steady stream of building materials to this building, making the development of domestic chips more solid and powerful. However, China also has to admit that compared with international giants, there is still a certain gap in the overall technical level and market share of domestic chips. This gap is like a chasm that China needs to cross. But as the ancients said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. As long as China moves forward step by step, it will one day be able to cross this gap. When it comes to completely replacing imported chips, this is really not an easy thing. The chip industry is like a high-end club. To become a member, you not only need to have excellent technical strength, but also need to pass the test of the market and the precipitation of time. At present, domestic chips have made breakthroughs in some fields, but it will take time and effort to reach international advanced levels in all fields. This is like a marathon. China has completed the first half of the race, but there is still a long way to go in the second half, which requires China to have enough endurance and perseverance to persevere. However, the good news is that with the acceleration of the domestic substitution process and the country's continued support for the chip industry, domestic chips are gradually narrowing the gap with international giants. It's like being in a chasing race. Although China started a little late, its speed is constantly accelerating, and one day it will be able to catch up with or even surpass its previous opponents. In this wave of domestic substitution, who will be the biggest beneficiary? In fact, there is no single answer to this question, because the beneficiaries will involve all aspects of the entire chip industry chain. First of all, Domestic chip manufacturers are naturally the first beneficiaries. Companies such as SMIC, Huawei, and Cambrian will receive more market opportunities and policy support, which will help accelerate technology research and development and market expansion. 
It's like giving them a boost to run faster and further. Secondly, semiconductor equipment and material suppliers will also benefit. As domestic chip production increases, demand for semiconductor equipment and materials will also grow. This will bring business growth opportunities to relevant domestic suppliers. This is like a business delivered to their doorstep. As long as they can seize the opportunity, they can achieve rapid development. Of course, downstream application companies cannot ignore it either. Enterprises in the fields of computers, communications, consumer electronics, and other fields can use more domestic chips and reduce their dependence on imported chips. This can not only improve the competitiveness of products and reduce costs, but also provide more application scenarios and feedback data for domestic chips, promoting the further optimization and upgrading of domestic chips. Finally, related service and solution providers will also get a share of this transformation. Service and solution providers such as EDA tools, IP cores, and test verification will benefit from the acceleration of the domestic substitution process and provide more complete technical support and services for domestic chips. This is like protecting domestic chips to ensure that they can move forward smoothly. In short, we can see that although the process of domestic substitution is full of challenges and difficulties, it is also full of hopes and opportunities. Although NVIDIA was investigated for allegedly violating antitrust laws, although it seemed like a storm, it actually provided more motivation and opportunities for domestic substitution. As the ancients said, heaven will entrust great responsibilities to people here, and they must first work hard and work hard. If domestic chips want to stand out on the international stage, they must go through various difficulties and challenges. But as long as China persists in its efforts, it will one day be able to usher in its own glorious moment. Let us look forward to that day together. When domestic chips truly rise, China will not only be able to get rid of its dependence on imported chips, but also be able to contribute more of Chinese wisdom and Chinese power to the development of the global technology industry. And the starting point of all this may be starting from today, starting from every small progress and breakthrough. As Edison said, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. On the road to domestic substitution, what China needs is this persistence and hard work.